everyone welcome back to my channel today i thought i would do like a chit chatty get ready with me this is everyday makeup this is literally what i do every single day oh my gosh have you seen my fucking nails like aren't these to die for just just take a look and just enjoy with me going on vacation in like three or four days something like that and i thought i would get like um ocean inspired nails and don't we all love them like can we agree on that they were lovely like right but yeah enough about that um this is my everyday makeup i thought i'd share it with you guys and like chit chat with you a little because i usually just speed my videos up and i have like a music or thing going on but i thought why not just talk to you i'm very ill so bear with my voice bear with me bear with my life please and yeah let's dive right into the video shall we so i'm just gonna start off um i've already done my brows because that would take too much time so i'm starting off by my nars weightless luminous foundation um and it is very very good i love it it's my favorite foundation um and i have it in satin course take like three pumps So I'm going on vacation in a couple of days and um, I thought I would do my curly routine, curly hair routine because it's been requested so much. So I thought I would do it when I am on vacation because um, I don't know, I just thought it would be like a great idea to film when I'm on vacation. Um, and I would really love if you guys could like tell me what I should do more like more type of videos when I'm on vacation like um probably not like lookbooks because I'm mostly just gonna lay by the beach or the pool so that would like probably not go um and the only time I'm gonna dress up it's gonna be like by the night time when we're going out and um it's gonna be bad lighting and all that so no not a lookbook but anything else like makeup looks um I could probably film that or anything else just let me know now I'm taking my NARS my NARS radiant creamy concealer in custard to highlight So since this is like my everyday makeup, um, I don't like highlight full on, but when I am going out, I like to highlight my forehead, my chin, my nose and all that jazz. This is just like the everyday look. And I know this is a lot of makeup like everyday as well, but I love makeup. I can't. Okay, so this is very funny because um, I used to use like the translucent powders, but I've switched to like normal powder, like colored powders. And um, that's just because I found this laying in my room. Um, I got it ages ago from Sephora and it's just like a big ass palette. Um, it's from Makeup Forever and it has all the pro uh, their powder foundations, I believe. It's six shades um, and I have them all and I feel like this is like so good. But um, I'm very sad because I'm not going to be able to bring this to my vacation and I really like these two shades a lot. Um, so I don't know how to do like if I can break it or anything. For now I'm just going to go in with this. It is the Golden Honey and I'm going to put it all over my face. Actually, I need to set my concealer. Hold on. I'm just taking like a yellow powder. I'm setting my concealer. 
Okay, I'm gonna bring back some color to my face by taking the Pro Finish nat in Natural Caramel. And it's this one for just kind of like chisel out my cheekbones. So then I'm going to take my blush, um, this is the Stila Cosmetics blush duo, no like blush palette I guess, and Picnic at the Beach number 2, it looks like this, it's so cute, it looks like this on the inside, it has 3 shades so I like to kind of like just take my brush and sweep it all together. And I like to focus the darkest color on the top of my cheekbones. That way, it's just gonna bring them out a lot more. I love to do that. I'm gonna start with the eyes now. Let me zoom in. Um, and I usually just go for my chocolate palette, chocolate bar palette. Um, I really like the neutral shades in it. And um, for like everyday uses, I like to go in with this, which is I guess is like champagne. I don't know. I. I I believe it's champagne. I will look it up and um, write it down below for you guys. But I will just put it all over my lid. And then I like to have like a transition shade that blends everything out very nicely. And for that I'm gonna take my big ass palette again and I'm just gonna take the bronzing shade because uh, I really like to have the same bronzer as the same transition shade because that just like puts everything together if that makes any sense this is my MAC blending brush I think it's 217 And then I'm going to go in with this shade. It's like a burgundy reddish color. I love it. And I'm just gonna work it into the outer V and the crease. And the reason I take a smaller brush is just because I like to have control over where I'm exactly putting the shadow. Um, so I usually go for the Benefit push-up liner and I just found in my old Isadora like this kind of eyeliner and I don't know I just thought I would give it a shot I don't know I just felt like and if I mess things up then I'm so sorry but the key to great eyeliner is definitely small strokes, like small strokes at a time. Uh, here I am giving you guys tips on how to do it and then I fuck it up. The liner is on, we need to curl our lashes up. So I'm just gonna do my mascara and put some falsies on. pissing me off but um, I don't know 
Okay, we'll go with that. Ah. <clears throat> Playing with a little bit of this dark burgundy color on the lower lash line. A highlighter is a must every day for me. So I'm taking my baby from the bomb. It's my luminizer. Okay, now that I look like a disco ball, we're gonna move on to lips. And let me tell you guys, this has been my favorite lip combo for like, let me see, a year or not. But like this color, like this certain MAC lipstick that I'm gonna show you is new, but the whole nude thing, a long time. But so I'm taking my Isadora lip liner 48 in Mocha and um, this shade is a very good shade to uh, go and overline your lips. And I've got so many people to buy this lip liner and they have all loved it like for my YouTube channel like all my friends believe it or not everyone used it. It's like, it's like a dupe for like a strip down, boldly bare, all these MAC lip liners that are super expensive. Yeah, and then I'm going in with my favorite lip lipstick and it's new it's called yash i showed it in my recent video in my haul video and it looks like this it's like a perfect nude shade for tanner skin tones not dark really but because my friend is darker and she tried it on and it looks kind of concealery on her but definitely like tanner skin tones Lips are on. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. This was like my chit chatty, get ready with me, like everyday makeup, like what I beat my face with every single day. Um, and it's lovely, I love it. I love the like burgundy shades on the eyes. It makes brown eyes pop, even like blue and green eyes. And the nude shade, the nude lips, oh, to die for. So I'm going on vacation and if you guys want me to do certain videos, definitely let me know. Like I do take your ideas and I have them like in my head. So whenever I'm like gonna film, I'm like, okay, then let's just do that. If you liked this, give it a thumbs up, please. And check out my Tumblr, my Snapchat. I will link everything down below as usual. And uh, until next time, have a great, 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 great life. Okay, so yeah, thank you for watching. Bye. What am I doing? Like.